Psalm 91 He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Surely, He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Let's start with the position that I have, and that's reaffirming women's right to choose and keeping the government out of our bodies. And it's important to me because while I've never been faced with that choice, fortunately, there are many women who have, and our government and men have no say in the outcome when it comes to our bodies. And furthermore, for the people who um, don't support women's right to choose, it's those same people who don't believe in social programs to care for unwanted children. So it's the ultimate hypocrisy. Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Kakadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great example to all these younger brothers. And peace and blessing and salutation to the hopeful leg out there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful leg, the believers, the listeners whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Now, what I want to address today is the hypocrisy of this kingdom and how it promotes, you know, women, all right, to have no accountability for their decision making. You see, this society, this system promotes women to have zero accountability, you know, for their decision making. And that's why you see a lot of women in horrible positions in horrible predicaments because they are pretty much have the liberty you know to destroy themselves by their own decision making you know and it's been proven all right to be this all right you have a society let me read this um i said first 20 chapter 20 all right this is Joel 20 and 4 it says knowest thou not all right, though it knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment, you see. And Esau Edom is the biggest hypocrite in the earth. Now, this same man, all right, and there's so many levels of hypocrisy within this society, but let's just deal with this, this one first. Now, this same man, you know, he promotes, you know, women's equality. He promotes, you know, independent women, all right? The music to the left, to the left, you know? I don't want no scrub. I'm independent. I got my own, you know? Girls who run the world, oh, they push all this, you know? This is super, you know, Wonder Woman energy, Super Woman energy. They push that. They fund it in, in Hollywood to push that and enchant, you know, the, 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 the masses of women. You see, they push all that. You know, but then the same woman that they have elevated to their status, all right, they push another narrative where she's a victim, you know, where she's just this victim. Now, here it is you can label who you want to lay with, all right, but you don't have to deal with the consequences, all right, you don't have to deal with what comes out of it. You see, and this man has a way to so off. This society is so off. You know, he pretty much, sex is a hobby now. You know, that's what sex has become, pretty much a hobby. You know, something to do in pastime. Which we 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 know what situation we in. That don't mean, you know, us, we, we don't, we're not going out there laying seed, you know, <laughs> being over-righteous. But we understand what it is, though. You know, we understand what it is. And... What Esau does, he like, look, well, you can have the pleasure of sex, 
And even if you do get pregnant, we got a way where you don't have to deal with the responsibility. You see? And what does that take away? The accountability, all right, of women. Knowing that they got a safety net that they can just destroy the baby, you know, and keep it moving, man. You see? Now, she made a statement that said that she didn't want the government in her in, in their body. Well, wait a minute. Now, these same people, they trying to put something else in your body. All right? So, it's like, it's my body, my choice. But then, when it comes to <laughs> something else, it ain't no choice. You figure it out, man. You know. You know how we got to talk, man. You figure it out. But that's the hypocrisy of this man. <laughs> that's the hypocrisy. But it's going to be... It's, it, this whole system finna be destroyed, man. This backward... It's, it's, a, it's a backward shit show. The way people think. The way people are. The way society set up. It's just a backward shit show, man. And, it, and, it, and, it, and, it's, and it's based on... It's rooted in women having no accountability. Now... Let's get another quick story. You see? Let's get another quick story. Now, this is from Check this one out. I'm going to read it. All right, this is from the Independent. It says internet raises almost $100,000 for single mother arrested for leaving kids in motel while she worked. That, li, listen to this, man. Internet raises almost $100,000 for single mother. And they throw their single mother out there. That's the victim narrative. All right. And it said arrested for leaving kids in motel while she worked. It says a GoFundMe has almost has raised almost a hundred thousand for a woman caught between the competing demands of pandemic parenthood and see see they are already setting up the narrative the, the victim narrative you know caught between the competing demands all right of pandemic parenthood it says Shiana Bell twenty four was arrested. All right, while she was working at a Little Caesars pizzeria in Liberty Township, Ohio, on Thursday evening, police say they had found two of her daughters, age two, all right, and 10. So you had the 10 year old watching the two year old alone at a nearby Motel 6. Bell told the police she was having someone check on the kids every hour and would be back by 10 p.m but that was not enough she was charged with two counts of child endangerment to which she pleaded not guilty and spent the night in jail that's when the internet stepped in and see this their safety net and this is this takes away all the accountability from women man all right now if this was a jake that did this all right, he would have got hung, man. You see, Jake would have been hung, man. And then they act like the kids just come from nowhere. No, that's her decision making. She allowed. See, and then that's another thing with Esau. The 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 men that he promoted to to Eve. All right, street niggas, hot boy, this that. You know. He promoted them niggas to Eve and Eve is having baby by them niggas and see the niggas ghost them, you know, or, you know, it's every situation different, but Jake will ghost them or, you know, Eve would just be too much and Jake try to make it work and Jake Lee, however it is, it's a horrible system of parenting, man, because pretty much she's having, Eve has uh, children by random men, all right? Based on the image that was given to her by the serpent, and then she finds herself in these horrible positions. All right, because like I say, as a working man, we damn near invisible. You know, just an average working man. It's a lot of single men that work with no kids. It's a lot of Jake that make decent money that they work with no kids. But Jake, what, what I mean, but Eve won't what? 
street nigga, hot boy. All right. And they keep making the same bad decision over and over again. And then when they find themselves in these predicaments, now they the victim off of their own decision making. You see? And it takes away all accountability. It says, now that's when the internet stepped in after local news outlets covered Bell's stories. It gained widespread sympathy online, including from a U.S. congressman. Women are damned if they do, damned if they don't. So let's get. Let me see. Ruben. Ruben, uh. The legal. Let's see who that is. See if something pop up. With this guy. Yup. OE. Who else? All right. Say the day. And they love to keep that narrative going. All right. Who else? <laughs> you see? <laughs> hey, he, 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 he even saw this thing to the end, baby. They locked in, man. All right. Y'all going to get off his boo. Now, he says, um, he said that's when the internet stepped in at the local news outlet cover Bell story. It gained widespread sympathy online, including from a U.S. congressman. It said, women are down if they do and down if they don't. It says, um, Ruben Religio, um, Republican of Arizona, which is a Democrat, which they Democrats love the narrative, all right, of, of you niggas being in poverty, man. You know, and these broken families and the men all dead beats. The Democrats, all of them love it, you know. He saw, he, you know. But see, the Democrats, they love that narrative, man. That's why they're always coming from position of trying to help you, man. All right? It says, stay at, it says, stay at home with your kids and receive government assist assistance and you're a leech. Go to work for poverty wages and can't get consistent sitters to go to and go to jail. Well, if you had a family structure, all right, you wouldn't need a babysitter. If you had a, uh, any type of structure, you know, but you, you even in these horrible predicaments, <laughs> and then now, you know, like I say, now it, it, it's the world against her. Come on, man. When I say family structure, see, that's why we getting back to our way, man. This shit ain't, this shit, ain't, it, it, it's a shit show, man. You know, and the cycle keep repeating itself and it's getting worse. That's why Moses is just going to put a stop to it, man. He's just going to put a abrupt stop to it with the destruction, man. All right. And it says, soon a GoFundMe was raising money for Belle and her children. It, its goal was 5000 but by Wednesday evening, it was it had raised over 98000 uh, 98, it says Cheyenne is a single mother of three young children. She works hard and she loves her family very much. All right. Now, how do you love your family very much and you leave your 10 year old with a two year old? All right. But this is the this is the picture they paint of the strong, independent superwoman jump over mountains for the family. You know, that's 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 what they paint, man. <laughs> it's some this some bullshit, man. <laughs> And what what way Jake catch hell, man? And I you know working with Jim, I'm, I'm no Jake catching hell, hell, man. I've seen Jake get whole checks gunish, man. Check stub zero dollars. You know. <laughs> it said um. Uh, it said Shine, the single mother, of three young children. She works hard and she loves her family very much. Danielle, um, uh, Hosey. Who says she is Belle's mother? Wrote in the GoFundMe synopsis. Nah, shit. It said this campaign was created to help Shana and her children raise money they need in order to secure permanent and safe housing. Words of support poured in, along with donations, contributors were especially sympathetic in light of the. All right, which has shut down many schools and daycare providers, leaving few options for single 
parents whose job cannot be done remotely. And see, this is their independent shit. All right. You, you, you want the equality. You want it this. And, uh, I don't need no man. But then you get in these horrible predicaments. And now you need the earth to bail you out, man. You know? But this goes into what? The, the, the structure being taken out. All right? You think this would have been a problem in the 50s? In the 60s? All right? I mean, in the 50s and 40s? Before, you know, that feminist all right, movement came? Was, was that a problem? Having a babysitter? You know? But now, this modern, <laughs> this modern way of thinking, all right? It's destroying people, man. All right? And it ain't working. So now. Let's get this not into here. <laughs> and that's why women are so. All right. Unaccountable, man. That's why when you even think about. You know, you even utter. You know, putting the blame on the woman. It's an uproar. All right. Now, this is on Deuteronomy 32 and 9. It says, rise up. It's like Isaiah 32 and 9. It says, rise up, you women that are at ease. Hear my voice, you careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. And see, this society has made the woman very careless, man. Very careless, man. Because she got, they get bailed out. It's a safety net. You see, they the victim. They the hero, you know. They whatever they need to be to benefit their particular situation at the time. All right. Now you got that word, but talk. All right. I think that's for is that for careless. All right. You go on the careless. You got the word, but talk. All right. Which is what to trust in, to have confidence, and to be to be secure, to be bold, and that's what a lot you know this boldness you get from women because why they have a system that supports it, they finance it, man. You see, they finance careless decisions, man. They finance their carelessness, man. A hundred thousand. You see, it said to cause, to trust, to make secure. You see. And they trust in this way. And that's why you see uh, earlier that video I did with Eve on the front line, you know, pushing the potion, man. <laughs> you see? Now, I'm going to get that word at ease, too. You know? I'm going to get that word at ease. All right? Yep. The word at ease is shanun. All right? No, shut, shut. Uh, should not. Alright. Should not. Should not none. Should not one. Alright. And it says um to be at ease, to be secure, to be careless. Alright. To be careless, to be arrogant, pride. You see? And he's and that same woman, you know. She'd be at the club, all right, and, and turn 30 men down. She have this situation going on in her life, but be at the club and she'll turn 30 men down. You see, this is an ass backwards way of thinking, man. All right, and it says, Many days and years shall you be troubled, you careless women, for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. See, the most high gonna cut out all these bailout plans for these women, man. You know that these women have gotten used to, man. You know, all these bailouts, they's finna be cut off, man. Alright? You women. Alright, that ain't right. You finna catch hell, man. You proud as women, you finna catch hell, man. It, it, Jacob trouble will be the worst for, for, for the woman by far. You see? And it says, tremble, ye women that are at ease, be troubled, you careless ones. Strip you down, make you bare, and girl sackcloth upon your loins. They shall lament for the teats, for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. Yeah, because America has been a pleasant field for the woman. I say they they been had they had it made. You see, they got all different programs for assistance. They got a, a, a society that pretty much caters and bends, you know, 
to their pleasure. All right, ladies everywhere, ladies night, ladies drink free, ladies this day. Then when you get in there, you got multiple men, you know, trying to sponsor you, you know, your your your, your, <laughs> your night out, you know, in your day to day, multiple men trying to sponsor this and sponsor that, and you know, they just been having a pleasant feel here. You seen that video with um, I think it's the brother. Matter of fact, let me get let me find and pull it up. I think it's on YouTube. Let me see. It's the brother channel here. Let's see, can I find it? Yep, here you go. Three men to date, one day. Bought me a new Apple pencil. Came home to this from the man I love. Never settle, ladies. There you go. All right, at ease, man. It's gonna be real bad for the woman when this place breaks down, man. All right, <laughs> it's gonna be real bad, man. All right. So, yeah, that's the point, man. You know, just want to bring that out, man. I was going over a few things, man, just seeing that. And they're like, damn, man, the woman don't have to be accountable. She can she can be a horrible decision maker, man. And win. 100K. Win. <laughs> so, you know, most high, he, he's setting it up. He's setting that judgment up in the earth, man. And it's going to be a hell of a time, all right, for all our people who refuse to repent you see but the the woman will get it the worst man but because she's living the best <laughs> you see so lord will you brothers and your few sisters are edified to the next time i say shalom